the principle of a slide wire potentiometer. Now this is a potentiometer circuit diagram. It definitely has a driver cell. This driver cell is connected to a circuit we are calling the primary circuit and of course the primary circuit has got this slide wire connected to it. This uniform slide wire and of course this uniform slide wire below here is what we are calling the secondary circuit. And of course this primary circuit is connected to the secondary circuit which is always down here. Now a potentiometer consists of a uniform slide wire and this slide wire can be of any length. It can be one meter long, it can be more than one meter long. This slide wire is connected in series with a driver cell and this driver cell is responsible for ensuring that there is a constant flow of current through this slide wire. Now since the wire has got a uniform cross-sectional area, it means its resistance also is going to be uniform. And now since it's going to have a uniform resistance all through, by uniform resistance I mean it is having a uniform resistance per centimeter, it means that this driver cell which is connected to this wire is also going to deliver a uniform potential difference per centimeter, which we are calling PD per unit length. So it means that every time you move, let's say, um, one centimeter, the potential difference will, let's say, maybe one volt. If I'm to move two centimeters, it means the potential difference across that portion of the two centimeter wire will be two volts. If I move three centimeters, it means that the potential difference across the, that portion of the wire will be three volts. So what does this mean? It means that the potential difference that is across this wire is uniformly distributed all throughout the wire. And so since because the wire is uniform that and it is having a uniform resistance per centimeter, it means that this driver cell is also going to impose a uniform PD per centimeter along that wire. Now how a potentiometer works is that an unknown potential difference is connected across the secondary circuit and when this unknown PD potential difference is connected across the secondary circuit, this sliding jockey is tapped along the slide wire until a point whereby this galvanometer shows no deflection. When that point is arrived at or is achieved when this galvanometer shows no deflection, it means that the potential difference across that portion of the balance length is equivalent to the potential difference across the unknown potential difference that has been connected in the secondary circuit. Now, since the potential difference across the balance length is the same as that, the, is the same as the potential difference across the components in the secondary circuit at balance, and we know that the potential difference is directly proportional to the length, so it means that for us to be able to get that potential difference, the value, we are simply going to get the potential difference per unit length or the PD per unit length, which we are denoting as K times the balance length. So it means that if the potential difference here is the, the PD per unit length here is one volt per centimeter, meaning that for every one centimeter, the potential difference is one volt across that one centimeter portion of the wire. And we no, find out that the balance length after moving this jockey is less than 10 centimeters. It would mean that for us to be able to get the potential difference across the balance length will be one volt per centimeter, multiply that by the balance length, which is 10 centimeters. And we'll be able to get the voltage, which is 10 volts. And those 10 volts, which is the potential difference across the portion of the balance length, will be the same or will be the potential difference across the unknown potential difference that has been connected in the secondary circuit. Now, for those of you who might be wanting to take notes, let me repeat the principle of a slide wire potentiometer briefly. Now, a potentiometer consists of a uniform slide wire, and this slide wire can be of any length. It could be one meter, it could be more than that. Now this potentiometer is connected in series with a driver cell which maintains a steady current through the wire. Since the wire is uniform, it has a constant resistance per centimeter. This therefore means that the, pot the driver cell applies a constant PD per centimeter across the length of the wire. Now since the potential difference across the length of the wire is directly proportional to the length, it means that we can easily get the potential difference across the portion of the wire from this expression, V is equal to KL, where the value of K simply stands for the PD per unit length of that wire. In this case, if this wire is in centimeters, it means this is the PD per centimeter of the wire. 
So in practice, the unknown potential difference is balanced against the slide wire by placing a jockey along different parts of the slide wire until the galvanometer shows no deflection. In order to obtain a balance point, this unknown PD that we are connecting in the secondary circuit must be connected in opposition to the driver cell. By this I mean that the positive terminal here should be connected to the positive terminal right there. This is positive, that is positive, the two connect at the point A. And of course the EMF of the driver cell has to be greater than the EMF in the secondary circuit for you to be able to obtain a balance point. And that's the operating principle of a slide wire potentiometer. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Brangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.